Today in our GTK Python tutorial, we are going to be looking at uh, error message dialogues. Now there's a number of different preset message dialogues, uh, informational and error and a few others. And today we're gonna to be looking at the error one. So let's get started. Let's quickly look at our code so far, or our program so far. And uh, normally if we hit cancel here, it says no file selected exiting and it exits, but let's put that message into a dialog box so that in case they don't have the terminal running they can they know what happened why we exited so let's go ahead and go into our text editor and edit our code this is going to be pretty simple we're just going to go to our if then statement right here uh, where we are printing out our message and then exiting the system and we can leave the print message there so that it displays it in the terminal as well. Um, but we're also going to start creating a message dialog. We'll just call it um, em for error message. And we'll say gtk dot message dialog. And so we're creating an object called em. It is a message dialog. Uh, now we're going to set the parent. We're going to set the parent to none. And then we're going to say GTK dot dialog, oops, all capital dialog destroy with parent. There's other options you can put there, and really we don't need to put that there because there is no parent. But um, we're going to put that there in case we decide to link it to a parent later on, I guess. Whatever, I'm not even sure what I'm doing anymore. I've made so many of these tutorials today. Okay, GTK message, and this is telling it what type of message dialog box it is. We're going to say error. So that's the type of dialog box it is. Let's, uh, let's try to clean this up a little bit since we're going off the end of the screen here. We're going to just gonna go like this. And now we're going to add a close button. So we're going to say gtk dot buttons, just a close button. And we're going to display a message. We'll say error loading file. And then we'll do backslash n. Let's put this all in the next line here so it's easier to read. Backslash n for new line. And we'll say now exiting and close our parentheses. So let's have a look at this. So if we hit the cancel button, it's going to print to the terminal, no file selected, exiting, and we're gonna have our error message object, which is a message dialog box. Uh, and basically we're looking at this here is telling it that it, what type of dialog box it is, it is a message error it's going to have a close button and print a message and then once you click OK on that and the script continues it will exit the program. We'll save that, we'll run that so right here let's do it the proper way, we'll choose picture and click open that works, we'll exit out of that, we'll run it again, this time we'll just hit cancel no message box, oh duh. we created our dialog box but we didn't run it so let's come back down here to our if then statement. Uh, that's our choose image, if then. And as I've said in previous tutorials, when you're really working on an application, you're gonna wanna uh, comment things better so you know what's going on because our program's starting to get a little long right now. Uh, so here we go, we've created it, let's run it. It's called em.run. And then we also want to destroy the dialog box after that em.destroy and then we'll exit the system. So now we'll run it. Once again we can choose an image and it loads and our application loads. We'll hit exit. We'll run it again and we'll hit cancel this time and we get an error message dialog box. It says error loading file and the next line says now exiting. We'll click close and it closes the program. So that way uh, if they're not running the program from the terminal, they're just double clicking on an icon for it. Um, they won't see the terminal error message. That way they know what's going on. Uh, so that's it for this tutorial on error message dialog boxes. Uh, and we'll have more on different type dialog boxes in future tutorials. 
Thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Also visit filmsbychris.com forward slash IRC to chat with us and also filmsbychris.com forward slash forums to share ideas, comments, and ask questions. Thank you for watching and have a great day.